Hello, dear friends. This is Wisdom for the Spiritist Practitioner. Yes, we're starting a journey of 40 days based on the book Educandario de Luz. Educandario de Luz is a book that is coming about in English as we speak, and you can join us in this beautiful journey. Why are we doing this? Because we have already offered to many the opportunity to know about Spiritism in many instances, from Paul and Stephen to the book Money by Emmanuel, Casimiro Cunha, the book Good News by Humberto de Campos. We have been doing this journey together for almost a year. And finally, the Spirit Mentors have revealed to us the need to share instructions of the Illuminated Spirits with you in English, of course. Instructions that are going to help all of us become better practitioners. In the book, O Consolador, yet to be in English, Emmanuel, chapter 38, he talks about Missão do Espiritismo, Mission of Spiritism, it was actually published in the latest issue of the Spiritist Magazine, which is available to you at thespiritistmagazine.com. And it says, Spiritism, above all, is the, pro the liberating process of consciences in order to um, that the vision of humanity achieves higher horizons. That's why Spiritism is here, to help us discern more, to help us better ourselves, but through the practice of Spiritism, we can help others. By becoming a practitioner, in Portuguese we talk about trabalhador, worker. In English we prefer to call practitioner. I remember this discussion we had uh, the spirits out of Baltimore in our first retreat. We used to do several retreats, and in a first retreat, several American friends back in 2006, probably, or yeah, 2006, they said, you know, the word worker would imply a financial attachment. Volunteer is kind of a loose word, but practitioner is certainly the word because we practice spiritism and we're committed to it, but we're not being paid for it. That's why spiritist practitioner. And we are here being called to study in a book that was compiled for that reason. E do Candário de Luz, several spirits got together and through the medium, Francisco Cândido Xavier brought to us this book that is being translated. E do Candário de Luz, which means like a school of light, an educational institute of light, this is what a spiritist center is. And Emmanuel tells us the goal of this school is to help people Free their consciences from what? Guess what? What are we freeing ourselves from? We're freeing ourselves from ignorance. No, no, but it's not that ignorance that people say, oh, you're ignorant. No, no, we're talking about the lack of knowledge, the lack of experience. Don't be ashamed. Let's not be ashamed of ourselves when we don't know things because we're supposed to learn. And when we find out, oh man, how come I didn't know? Instead in, of criticizing myself, I say, oh well, I just found out something new. Thank God, oh happy day. And we sing, oh happy day when I learn something new. Oh, I learn, and it feels good. It feels good. It feels good. You know, it's good to learn, and we are here to learn. 
to love and to serve, right? And spiritism comes for that reason. Spiritism does not come for any other reason but for the mission to free our consciences of our ignorance, okay? So we need to work on it. And he says, spiritism, without a doubt, is the force of Christianity in action to bring up the human soul and sublimate life. And Christianity here is the pure Christianity that we talk about, not the one that created dissension amongst others. On the contrary, the Christianity we're talking about here is the teachings of Christ, the Christ consciousness. In other words, the Christ consciousness. Okay, I'm going to read you the first, the preface of the book. Read to you firsthand. This is the first time ever, 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 ever this book is coming about in English. And we're celebrating because the world deserves to know this book. Plus, we need it. And if you and I team up as spiritist practitioners working wherever we are, we are going to serve this cause. Okay? Shall we, friends? Shall we, my friends? I will read the names. I will say hi to you. Let's visualize ourselves in a beautiful classroom. Hmm? Imagine the day the earth is going to be so evolved that people are living in different parts of the world. But we can meet like, okay, oh, you're in China. Let's meet now. And whoo, there is this universal not universal right worldwide meeting that happens instantaneously without holograms without internet you know what i'm talking about right mind to mind heart to heart we're already doing this just the body cannot boost itself to get there but we love it and we are going to really get there sooner or later visualize ourselves right leave your more eyes how are you, beautiful Livia? Thank you. Adilson, how are you? Such a loving heart. Andrea Torres is taking care of our third generation, right? Nina, beautiful mom. Rihanna, we talked today also, we talked about you with Dr. Andy Moreira, who is here. He's on his way to Baltimore for another talk there tomorrow. So keep your eye. Go to the Spiritist Network as Daniel Santos is going to stream it. Right, Rihanna? Andre is coming to South Africa in February. What, what is fantastic. Cesa, beautiful Cesa. Lea Severo, we talked about you too, and the advocating for the causes of fraternity without borders. Beautiful soul, how are you? Thank you for shining on us. And talking about fraternity with our board, it's almost like Angelita's last name. Angelita de Paula, fraternity with our board. May I, Angelita? And Luciana and Tuani, how are you, friends? Beautiful family. Julia and our son in Australia, how are you? Aglais Wober, how are you? And beautiful Erika, how are you? My hug also to Denny. Beautiful Leticia with Juliana. We just we were just there, the Spirit Star of Virginia. Thank you, Leticia, for being with us. Michelle, how are you, Michelle? Lisa Telles, you're right. Time to learn again. Thank you, Livia. Thank you. Silvia, how are you, my friend? Teresa Castro. Teresa Castro, I owe you an answer about the emotional management book. It depends what you want. Daniel Siegel is a good one. He's a neuroscientist on emotional management. Read his books, okay? Nina. Uh, oh, Paula was there too. Hello, Paula. We were just there together. It's good to have you here. Karina. Beautiful Karina. Friends, if you're watching us on demand 
and I know people are because later they say hi, they say where they were, and a big hug to you, whatever you are, okay? And Rudy is present in this pleasant present, right, Rudy? We're here at 11 p.m. Eastern Center Time, making our present pleasant together. Right, Jair Song, how are you? Today, we're honored. What a day. What a day. We're going to start our session with a message that was brought in through the medium Chico Xavier. By whom? The message is authored by Dr. Bezerra de Menezes. Do you all know who he is? If you don't, drop me a line because I'll send you more information. Dr. Bezerra de Menezes, the doctor of the poor, the ones that has a true commitment of changing our medical approach on the earth, the doctor of Jesus' team. Dr. Bezerra de Menezes had an invitation from Mother Mary to do what? To go to another planet and live a much better life. He said, no, thank you. I would like to stay here because I feel, and he didn't say this proudly, but he said, may I stay? Because I have many loving hearts here that I want to help. So he is one of these illuminated souls that really ascended and is coming to us for us tonight in a short message talking about this book. Educandário de Luz, a book that is coming about in English as we speak. Carlos is joining forces with us and he's helping us with the translation. Carlos and I are doing these works together. And he begins this book by titling the preface, Lyceum of Light. You remember the word Lyceum, right? Meaning an institution of Institute of Education. Dr. Bezerra de Menezes prefaces this book addressing to friends who were spiritist uh, scholars in Brazil and who wanted to organize a book with messages that would instruct spiritist practitioners. You ready? I'm going to read to you. Lyceum of Light by Dr. Bezerra de Menezes. Dear brothers, and he says the names of the people, Ondina Moutinho Vieira, Urbano Vieira, and Walter Barcelos, your consultation regarding the organization of a volume which lists all our unpretentious observations on the formation and importance of the Christian Spiritist Group in the various volumes that we, discarnated companions, have psychographed through the medium Chico Xavier is an extremely timely and respectable work suggestion. If you are a spiritist practitioner, we're talking to you. If you are not, feel invited to do so, to prepare yourself to join this beautiful family of spiritist practitioners around the world. He's talking about formation and importance of a spiritist center. We need the instructions. Spiritist centers are not formed without the need of education, instruction, preparation. And he continues, in the event that you carry out your plan of action, we advise without any presumption that the dear friend should contact the publishers of our consoling doctrine who have the copyright of the books that will be subject of the study and consultation requesting permission to do so, 
so as not to harm rights granted to our brothers of the editorial services that receive our mediumistic work, showing respectful appreciation. And you may be asking, uh, but Vanessa, that has nothing to do with me. It does. Dr. Bezerra de Menezes, for a reason, is sharing with us the importance of respecting people's works. Nowadays, we sometimes, out of goodwill, but with lack of preparation and order, we don't respect the laws, in this case, the laws of copyright, okay? Let me just uh, fix the <clears throat> Kardec radio app here. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, my friends. The, the microphone was not close enough. So here we have Caracol Ray and Mark Smith. Let us know if we're good for you, too. Okay, we are on the app at Kardec Radio. Hello, Julio Hammerschlag. Did I read it right? And Hercules. Friends. We're talking about the respect of the laws. And here, when we open a Spiritist Center, when we're working as Spiritist practitioners, nowadays we have social media. If you have Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, what else? Twitter. And if you are, for some reason, using ideas and words that were already published by someone, Dr. Bezerra is reminding us. No matter your good intentions, we need to respect it. We cannot do it without the respect. For example, we are here talking about the book. But if we want this book to be published, we need to talk to the publisher. The publisher in this case is the editor Ideal in Brazil. So we need to call them, write an email, exchange and say, you know, can you publish it for us? Here's a copyright. Can we publish it here? No? Okay, we'll respect because it's not ours. If Chico Xavier received the instruction to give the copyright to them, we need to respect that. So for all of us around the world who are reading this message today, it's very current because sometimes we post sentences that we hear in talks, we, ca we get from books, but we forget to put the references. So when you respect copyright, you, you acknowledge the reference, where it came from. So let's say if I want to write about the story that I read in a book. I said, you know, this is the story, blah, 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 adapted from the book, blah, blah, blah. Okay? And in that sense, we're not infringing any copyright laws. And that's the spiritist way to go. So that's the instruction number one for all those who are preparing or boosting themselves as spiritist practitioners around the world. So can we do this as a homework? Verify how much we are respecting these laws as well. And then he says more, our memory only aims to cultivate the practice of mutual respect in our sectors of ideal and action. You see, he talks about mutual respect. Mutual respect means no matter if we have goodwill, if we don't respect somebody's works, the copyright, that's what he's talking about, literally which is super current to the world we're living in now, okay? So we need to respect the copyright. Put yourself in the shoes of the authors of whatever you're reading. They were the vessels of those ideas. We cannot pass it on to others without acknowledging it. It came through them. That's what Dr. Bezier is saying. We need to respect to be respected. So let's do a therapeutic work here for us. When we do spiritist work, we often we want to be respected. But it would be easier instead of expecting the respect that we ask ourselves. 
Am I respecting people in that group, in that center, in that gathering? Are we respecting them or not? That's a good question. Because often, like children, Andre Moreira, Dr. Andre Moreira was telling about it this last hours at the center in Virginia, saying the child, not only in the physical level, but also inside of us, is demanding. It demands. That's the function. It always requests attention, needs to be attended to. It's okay. It's normal. But when we grow as adults, if we are in that child position, transactional analysis in psychology talks about this. You know, let me draw this diagram to you so we can think about this. It's very therapeutic as a person and also as a um, practitioner, okay? I'm writing this to you right now. And parent, okay. So here we have it. All right. So... We are, according to transactional analysis, a composition of these roles, a parent, an adult, and a child. Child, adult, parent. The child is always demanding. But I need this. I want this. That person needs to give me this. Give me that. The parent is always saying, you should do this. You must do that. Right? And the adult? doesn't demand, impose anything. There's no right or wrong in being a child. You can be a healthy child. The problem is when we become an unhealthy child or we play the role of an unhealthy parent that only criticizes and doesn't see the positive or a child that is always demanding and never giving. The adult is like this in transactional analysis. It's a... Uh, Somebody comes and says, did you see my pen? The parent would reply, you should know better where you, where you put your pen so you wouldn't be asking around. That's the parent. The child would say, but that's my pen. The adult would say, I don't know, but I can help you if you want. That's the adult doesn't demand and doesn't impose. Sometimes we need to be the healthy parents in relationships when we have to regulate things but without criticism, just adjustments. And sometimes we can be the child very jovial, accepting life easily, being open to learning. But the idea in, a, in our relationships would be to go through this equality, adult to adult. So Dr. Bezerra de Menezes, in a beautiful adult mindset, is telling us of the importance of mutual respect, which is actually number one. Allan Kardec, in the wisdom of the Spiritist teachings, he tells us, no Spiritist center will stand strong without work, work solidarity and tolerance so we need this equality work meaning nobody is absent of the uh, invitation to serve everyone is solidarity meaning I go there to help and be helped and now so as a practitioner I need to tolerate I need to Forgive people's shortcomings and imperfections. Yes, we may be upset because something was not fulfilled, but I still love my group. I still love my team of work, this team of love and service, right? So that's why he says, Lyceum of Light. Lyceum of Light. Because that's where... We generate new knowledge, new experiences. We liberate ourselves from ignorance. And when we do so, we're enlightened. Those who come to receive, those who also go to give, 
and together we create a beautiful organization of spiritual education. Some people say, Vanessa, I go talk to people who don't know about spiritism. Sometimes I don't know what to say. What is it? A church? Well, feel free to say whatever you feel like. But you know a tip? Say it's a center of spiritual education. Because it is a center of spiritual education. Nowadays people understand it. Say you are a spiritist practitioner. And people will get it. That's how it goes. He finally tells us, the task you're proposing deserves our attention and our affection because each spiritist center is for us all a lyceum of light. This is Dr. Bezerra de Menezes telling us about how sacred a spiritist center is, my friends. Let's think together. Where will you find an organization like this that works free of charge, that doesn't have a true hierarchy? There is order, but not necessarily hierarchy. Each person has a role to fulfill, but not a hierarchy. There is order, rules and regulations. A good center and even a group must have rules and regulations to avoid problems. Kardec talks about it in the medium's book in its last chapter. When he discloses the bylaws of the Spiritual Society in Paris. Hmm? And it's a place where people give of their time and themselves, they also learn. I tell you, before we opened the Spiritist Centers in the U.S., in Baltimore, in Virginia, and the group in D.C., helping others. I didn't know how to make a website. I didn't know. I'm saying for myself as an example, not that I am an example, just a, as you know, just a whatever we call it, like a virtual slide. You know, I didn't know how to speak in the radio, not that I know, but thanks to Spiritism, not only knowledge I acquired in the opportunity to serve and, and help myself constantly be a better person, pushing myself, but I learned skills, cleaning the center, um, learning how to make slides for talks, giving talks, giving passes. You know what that means? That a spiritist center is not only a, a place where you talk about spirituality and cherish religiosity, but it's also a place where you boost your intellect as well. Your skills, social skills, practical intelligence skills, emotional skills, spiritual intelligence skills. It's fascinating. No wonder Dr. Bezerra de Menezes says that a Spiritist Center is a beautiful, beautiful lyceum of light. Do you belong to a center? Do you participate in a Spiritist Center, my friend? So I'm going to pass on you a task. Now, a homework. Think about that center from Dr. Bezer de Menezes' perspective as a lyceum of light. How about that? And then you come and share with me. Would you like to share? You can share. You can either write to me at Kardec Radio, to us at Kardec Radio, kardecradio at gmail.com what you've discovered because sometimes it's just a given right the center is there they open the door we get in we don't pay for anything and then we receive we go home and we think it's just a given and even when we're practitioners sometimes we don't value enough the behind the scenes the works that are in two realms being put together for us so we can have that center 
of love. So this is the homework for you and I. Let's think of our spirit is sent, the one you're participating currently, as a lyceum of light. What does come next? Would you like to share? Write to me at cardiacradio at gmail.com. We would love to hear from you what you feel when you put Dr. Bezir de Menezes' perspective shedding a light on your experience as a spiritist practitioner or a spirit a to be spiritist practitioner about your spirit descent. Okay? That's it for today. It's short, but tomorrow. You know who's coming tomorrow with us? Umberto de Campos, brother X is gonna come and talk about what he titled Our Group. What will he say? I don't know. You will know. Come with us. Hello, Jose Gonzalez. We are praying so much, so much for our friends in Puerto Rico. We love our Puerto Rican family, the Spiritist family there. Big hug. Osvaldo Coelho, thank you for being with us. Patricio, Ivana, thank you, Julio. And Marcia Margarida, you are so loving, friends. Keep up loving and be loving and be loved. Okay? And at the end of it all, let's celebrate this Lyceum of Light by singing. I am light, I am light. The music by India, airy, beautiful song. I am light, I am light. And our spirit is center, is light. There isn't a center yet, but there will be Livia. Let's stay strong, teaming up, my friend. A big kiss to you. A beautiful day or night. Homework, sharing your homework, I would love to hear from you. Big hug.